how do artists get on the billboard charts? Is it even possible for indie artists like you and me to appear on them? Is there even an actual sales number goal for us to have? Well, if you've been asking yourself questions like these, then keep watching, because in this video, we're diving into just exactly how your next release could end up on the billboard charts. Let's blast off and get started. Konnichiwa Cyborgs, I'm Jonathan Miller, and welcome back to Jonathan Miller Music, helping you become a better songwriter. I make futuristic and outer space inspired dance pop music, and every Wednesday on this channel, I'm helping others take their music to level two. If that sounds good, consider subscribing. If not, wow. Okay, I do all this research for you, and you're not even gonna hit the sub button? I see what kind of person you are. I'm just saying, I think after the three minutes of research I did, which was like really hard for me, the least you could do would be to hit the subscribe button, okay? Think about that. So getting onto a billboard chart can be a little daunting, but it can also be exciting. But before we start talking billboard charts, you need to understand what Nielsen SoundScan is. Nielsen SoundScan is a sales tracking system for music and music video products throughout the USA and Canada. In order to be eligible to be on the billboard charts, you'll need to fill out a title registration form with Nielsen SoundScan first, which by the way, as of this recording is totally free. But before you jump away and do that, you still need two things. You'll need to acquire international sound recording codes, or ISRCs, for your songs, and a universal product code, or UPC, for your album, or EP, or whatever it is. Now, if you use an online distributor like TuneCorp, which I highly recommend, love them, you can get ISRCs for free with your release. It also comes with a UPC as well, but if you want a different one, don't pay more than like $30 for it. Also, if you're doing physical CDs, most disc duplication services will put one on for free. Any music product with a UPC or European article number EAN, is eligible to be tracked by Nielsen SoundScan. Nielsen then collects sales data from over 14,000 retail and non-traditional sources like online stores and concert sales. So to review so far, get ISRCs for your songs and a UPC for your album, then fill out a title registration form with Nielsen SoundScan. But we're not done yet. Remember last week's video about organization and how I said you'll need a calendar? Well, hope you went out to Target and got one like I said, cause you're gonna need it. Did you know that any sales of your album made during a pre-order period count toward your first week's sales total? Yup. So you're gonna wanna set up a pre-order that starts about six to eight weeks before your actual release date. And not to plug them again, but you can do this fairly easily with TuneCore. I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I just have used them for 11 years and I really love them. They've got great customer service if you've got questions. Love that. At this time, it costs about $15 to set one up and you have quite a few options as well. You can offer your full album at a discounted price. You can offer free songs. It's really up to you. Just choose what's right for you and your genre. Now. During your pre-order period, you will need to promote the hell out of your album and create a buzz with your fans because another piece that Billboard factors in is social interaction. Have your fans share your pre-order links, your music video, your streaming links to Spotify or Apple Music. You've all seen major fandoms do this. You've seen Ariana Grande, you've seen Britney Spears fandoms, you've seen Beyonce's fans, they do it all the time. This is really important. And the main ones Billboard is looking at right now are Twitter, Facebook, Vivo, YouTube, and Spotify. Create a hashtag that goes with your album and have your fans tweet it out. Get them excited and talking about it. Because in order to debut on the Billboard Heat Seeker chart, you need to sell at least 450 to 500 albums in your first week. And yes, like I said, any sales made during your pre-order period count toward your first week's sales total. And if you can, obviously sell more than that to increase your ranking on the chart. This can be physical sales, digital sales, or a bit of both. The last piece that's gonna help increase your probability of ranking is airplay. This one can be a little tricky for us indie artists, but it's not impossible. Remember Harlem Shake by DJ Bauer? It had little to no airplay in 2012 when it was released until it became an internet meme in 2013, which sent the song straight to number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for five consecutive weeks. So airplay doesn't have to be the be all end all like it once was, but it does help. And if you wanna go that route, go for it. I'm just saying that if you can't really get on the air, it's okay. And beyond that, it's really up to you and your fans. But to review, here is your five-step process. 
Step one, obtain ISRCs and a UPC for your album. Step two, register them with Nielsen SoundScan, link in the description below. Step three, set up a pre-order at least six to eight weeks before your actual release date. Step four, promote, promote, promote. Step five, sell at least 450 to 500 albums in your first week. And remember, this does include any sales made during your pre-order period. And two last things, new charts are released every Wednesday, so make sure you check back then to see if you charted. And I do of course need to say that this is not 100% a guarantee, but this is the general guideline for at least getting onto the Heat Seeker chart, which is a huge feat, so don't be discouraged at all. Getting on a Billboard chart is a huge dream for some of us. So good luck, and I really do hope it happens for you. And if it does, make sure you leave me a comment and tell me. So that is a five step process for getting on the billboard chart. Question of the video, are you gonna try to get on the billboard chart? Does it even matter to you? Leave me a comment below letting me know. If you wanna check out any more tips and tricks or how to's for any musicians, I've got plenty of videos on this channel and there's links in the description below so you can check them out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe if you're new. I put out new videos every single Wednesday. Once again, I'm Jonathan Miller and I will see you next time. Matane!